Hi, my name is Megan. I'm a young documentary photographer, originally from the northeast of England, and I'm currently based in Cheltenham, Gloucestershire. The project I'm talking about I began in September of this year. It was two months after my mother had passed away from secondary breast cancer, and I had just finished documenting her decline, but with a positive twist, where most cancer-based projects, especially in photography, are negative and show the decline within a hospital or the amount of pain that the people feel when going through something like this. And although that is a prominent view and something that should be shared just to show the reality of it all, I wanted to show the positivity and how her friends and her family crowded and made her life such a memorable thing. And in the end it became something that I could cherish as well. And I took all of these photos, all of the photos of her best friends and her family and day trips out and all sorts and compiled it into a book of which I called Oh Mama. It's about, probably about 200 pages now. Um, but following on from that, the project that I started in the September, I began by contacting through Twitter, Facebook, charities whoever I can who would be willing to be photographed alongside their main supporter um, and give me a written piece about their experience and the positivity and the support and just how they've dealt with it all I suppose and thankfully Philip contacted me and um, I had got in contact with the prostate cancer group in the Cotswolds and they've been so lovely bless them and I guess I started this project because I'd ended one project that was therapeutic to myself in being able to understand what was happening to my mother but also being able to start this new project gave me a deeper understanding of the medical field and both the positives and the negatives of it and how well our NHS works and how not only does it work fairly well but it is missing quite a lot that other countries can provide for us and the, mis the amount of misdiagnosis within different types of cancer and all sorts but also it's taught me the empathetic side of everything and how people deal with it emotionally and how family and support is so key to being able to live a positive life and I've thoroughly enjoyed being able to listen to people's stories and give them a voice where as most cancer based projects are either a collective and don't expand much on people's experiences. They kind of just show everybody in a studio-like fashion and I think that kind of takes away from projects and give it doesn't give it the third dimension that a lot of cancer projects need to be able to promote the empathy side of it and not put everybody in this one box of cancer is the primary reason they're all linked. And I'd rather have it where support is the reason why people are linked, happiness and positivity is the reason why people are linked and I guess that's the primary reason I'm enjoying and doing this project. I've photographed seven or eight different stories so far and I've got a few more to go before my deadline but it, I've just learnt so much and I'm so thankful to everybody who's been able to take part.